A three day bass fishing tournament is on the menu at the end of this month, benefiting the paralyzed veterans of America southeastern chapter. And it doesn't matter if you're a first time angler or have years of experience reeling in the big bass. The PVA bass tour is for you. It's happening September 27th to 29th at Clark's Hill and joining us this morning is executive director of the PVA southeastern chapter Hollis Bush and bass tournament coordinator Mark Sussabee. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thank Thanks you for having us. Yeah. Um, Hollis, tell us a little bit about our PVA, Southeastern mm -hmm. Chapter Mission. Okay. What is the Paralyzed Veterans of uh, America PVA, mission? Uh, the national one, was uh, founded in 1946 by a band of service members who came back from World War II with spinal cord injuries. And they had made a, de a decision that um, they were going to be productive citizens and live life um, as we do. Mm -hmm. And then um, Congress... Um, um, made them a congressionally chartered um, veteran service organization in which um, we um, actually, uh, when it comes to getting benefits for um, paralyzed veterans and also uh, making sure that um, they receive um, the care that they deserve. Uh, we do that by um, working with the VA, kind of monitoring the care of, uh, of the veterans and also um, we fund research for spinal cord cure and also for um, uh, education so that uh, our folks can learn how to live with this particular injury and also have a full life. And how is the, the PVA Southeastern chapter set up to support over 1,500 members in five states? How we do that in Alabama, um, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, we have uh, um, 10 different um, sites. And those sites are co-located with um, VA um, hospitals and also medical centers. And that's where we do our membership meetings because that's where our clientele are. And also allows us to have our members come in and kind of do the peer-to-peer -peer, um, with the newly spinal cord injury um, veterans. And um, so we do updates. We give them updates on the different programs and services that the chapter is doing. Um, we also give them updates on the advocacy on the legislation piece of it that we're working with our um, congressional leaders on. And also to get a hot uh, update from the hospitals on what's going on uh, when it comes to their care. Now, one might assume that uh, the Paralyzed Veterans of America Association would be associated with the Veterans Administration or the VA. That's, is that the case? Um, we're, we're, uh, we work side by side with them. Uh, we are a nonprofit. And the main thing we do when we're working with the, uh, with the Veteran Administration is that uh, we are kind of monitoring the care of um, um, the spinal cord uh, uh, patient and, and making sure that they're getting what they receive. If we see something that is, is um, not right, we actually bring it up to our national service officer who has an office there in the VA, and they get with the hospital to try to resolve those problems. All right, so we got the tournament coming up. Mark, tell us about it. Yeah, so we have a... Uh Bass Tournament coming up. It's a national trail. It's founded over 20 years ago. Southeastern's been supporting it for 20 plus years. Uh, called Southeastern Challenge. We have two divisions, an open division and a bank division. And uh, the anglers get out there, have a good time on the boat, or if you choose to fish off the bank, we got that too. And Mark, what makes this uh, tournament so unique? Different reasons, but uh, one of the most uniqueness thing to it is that the veteran or the angler necessarily doesn't <coughs> have to have a boat. Uh, thanks to the wonderful support of the community, we provide a, a boat captain to take them out there on the water for a day. Awesome. And how can the community support with this? Uh, Hollis, you want to share if, the website? If they go to um, www.pvasoutheastern.org, mm -hmm. Um, that is our uh, web page. Or they can email us at paravet, P-A-R-A-V-E-T, at comcast.net. Okay. And that's the same way that people, that a veteran, would, they'd like to participate? That's, they can go that way as well? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, now, it was saying that the uh, cutoff time was on the 13th. Is that still the case, or can people still sign up? If you are interested in bank fishing, please email the chapter, and uh, we'll see what we can do to get you out there to fish off the bank. Now, what if somebody would like to come out and support? What can, how can they get involved with that? Yeah, so we will have a weigh-in at 3 p.m. at Wildwood Park out in Appling. Come out there and see us. All right, definitely check that out. Hollis and Mark, thank you so much. Thank and you. And uh, good luck on the tournament. It's good to see you. Thank you. Yeah.